Well, hello everybody. Today is an arts and crafts day. And today for arts and crafts, we are going to make an apple with the worm coming out of it. Do you know why we're going to make an apple with a worm coming out of it? Do you have any idea what letter we're going to practice today? The letter we're practicing today is the letter A. Can you say A? Apple. A. The letter A. So as you can see, here is our apple. No. Apple, A-P-P-L-E. And this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making an apple with a little wormy coming out of it. So what you need to go and gather are two pieces of paper. You need a glue stick. You need a pair of scissors. And you need some markers or crayons. Okay? So why don't you go and gather those materials, press pause, and then come on back. All right, my friends, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our apple, okay? So we're just going to move these guys down here. Let's just look at this page. We're going to make our apple. So we're just going to take any color marker we want. I'm going to take a red marker, and I'm going to make an apple. You can do this however you want to. You can make a circle for an apple. Or I like this, you can make like a curvy line all the way down, kind of like a pumpkin. And then a curvy line all the way down, just like that. So it's kind of like the heart, but it's a big curvy line. Okay? Awesome apple, awesome apple. Now you can take a crayon or you can take your marker. And then let's just color in our apple. So when we're coloring, we want to tr hold our pencil or hold our crayon, just like this with our hand. Okay, we're not holding it like this. We're holding it nicey-nice, just like this. And we're just going to color in with, color in our apple. Color it in red. Just like this. La, 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 la. It's a nice apple. It's a nice big apple. Color it all in. I like to use a crayon to color it in because sometimes the marker will run out too fast. So this way, our marker is not running out. And there's our apple. Apple is all good to go. So now we're going to put our apple on top of our apple, we need a green, so find a green marker or a crayon. I also have my green crayon ready to go. So with your green marker, we're going to make our leaf. And our leaf, we're just going to make a curvy line up and then another curvy line to meet it just like that. And then you could draw a line going down. That is one big leaf. And then we're going to take our crayons, which I have a dark green, somewhere here, if Opie didn't eat it, found it. I'm going to take my dark green, here's my dark green, and I'm going to color in my leaf. Just like that. Ta-da! Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do for apples, we're going to make our stem. So grab a brown marker. And I just had my brown crayon. Where's the brown crayon? I think this is brown. I'm going to go with this one. Okay? So now with our stem, you're going to make a straight line up, another straight line up, and then you're going to meet them straight across. And there's our stem. And then you're going to take your brown crayon and color your stem in, just like that. 
Ta-da! Okay, now when your apple's done, move that one to the side. And now we're going to take the other sheet of paper that we have, and now we're going to draw our worm. I'm going to make, this worm here is brown, so I'm going to make a brown worm too. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a squiggly line, okay? So you're going to make a squiggly line on that side. And then another squiggly line on the other side. You're going to connect the top and connect the bottom. So there's our wormy. Right? You can draw some lines on your worm. I'm going to draw some lines on my worm. And then I'm going to give them, make a circle. And then a circle and a line. There's our smiley face. And then you can go ahead and color in your worm. I'm going to color my worm in green. Because wormies are, wormies that I see are kind of like green and I just had my brown crayon. There it is. I think this is black. Yep. We'll make them green and black. And green again. Just like that. And there's our wormy. There's our worm. Yes. Now comes the fun part. Now you're going to take your awesome scissors. And you're going to hold your scissors. You're going to put the two fingers. See how there's the bottom part that's big? You can put your two fingers in the bottom part. You're going to put your middle finger and your index finger. And you're going to put those on the bottom. And then you're going to put your thumb on the top. Your handle is always going to be up against you. Okay? You're not, you're not going to cut like this. I know so many kids who cut their shirts. We're not going to do that. We're going to cut this way. So we're going to cut up just like this. So I'm going to take my wormy down. I'm going to cut my wormy out first. Okay? And then I'm just going to start just like this. Now you can get close, as close as you can to that wormy line. That is fine. That is perfectly fine. If you go off the line, that is fine. I just want you to practice opening and closing those scissors and moving your paper all around with your other hand. Just so you can practice that cutting around and around and around and around and around and around. Now let's see, Mrs. Stokowski didn't do a perfect job, right? And that's okay, because there's my wormy. This goes in the recyclable or the garbage. So we're going to put our wormy right here for now. Now goes the apple. Comes the apple. Okay, same thing with the apple. Scissors. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut all the way around our apple. Making sure we're holding our scissors the correct way. My other hand is moving the paper. Whoop! See? Accidents happen and that's fine. Just like that. That part's a little trickster. And we're going to go all the way around. All the way back. All the way around. Just like that. Okay. There's our apple. Now we're not done yet. Now you're going to take your glue stick. Here's my apple. And I'm going to put my wormy, I'm going to put my wormy right here on the top. I'm going to stick my wormy right there on my apple. And glue them down on that. And you're going to glue your wormy on there. Just like so. And here comes the fun part. With your black marker or a black crayon, I want you to write a capital letter A, a big letter A, just like that, and then a small letter A, just like that. So your A is going to be, you're going to start from the bottom, you're going to go up, 
and a diagonal and then go down on a diagonal. And then you're going to put the line right in the middle. So that's our uppercase A. For a lowercase a, you're going to make a circle, small little circle, and then you're going to make a straight line for a small letter a. And that's going to go right there. And then, my friends, our apples are complete. And then you're going to go take a picture of your awesome apple, and you're going to put it into Seesaw so everybody can see your awesome apple. But before you leave, I have a really cool song to sing. Do you want to sing a song with me? This song is called The Ten Little Apples. So are you ready to sing my song with me? One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little apples, ten little apples on the tree. Woohoo! One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little apples, ten little apples on the tree. So thank you, my friends, for hanging out with me today and doing an awesome craft. I can't wait to see your awesome apples that start with an A for a a apples. Yay, yay, yay. All right, my friends, have a great day. Can't wait to see your apples. Hope you had some fun. I know I did.